So permutations are a way of saying different ways to arrange something. Okay, so you basically have the same elements, but by rearranging them, you have a different permutation. First thing I want to do is just give you an example to visualize this. And what we're looking at is the number of ways to arrange the letters A, B, and C. Okay, so I want to start out by just writing them out. So we could have A, B, C. We could, just keeping our A first, and then switch our B and our C, have a, C, B. There's no other way we can do A first, so now we can go to B first. We could say B, A, C, switch those last two letters and have B, C, A. And lastly, we could have C first, and then we could have A, A sorry, B, or C, and then B, A. We're not talking about words per se, we're just talking about the total number of arrangements, so what we're left with is 6. Another way we could look at this is by just sort of making a little a word. So let's say we have three letters and thinking about the number of letters that can go in each spot. Okay? We have three letters at our disposal. So the first spot can be filled up by three letters. We've already used one, so then the second spot could be left by two. And the last spot, there's just one letter left. Using our fundamental counting principle, we can just multiply these together and end up with 6. Okay. Obviously, this way is a little bit easier, but I just wanted to go through the work so you can see how these 6 actually come up. Okay. This is called a factorial. Okay. And basically what we're dealing with is the number of permutations, the number of different ways of writing the same set of objects, is just n factorial, where Factorial is taking the number you're dealing with and multiplying it by every number less than that. So the number we had over here was just 3 factorial. 3 factorial is just 3 times 2 times 1, which is 6. Okay, so that's what happens if we are involving every single element that we're looking with. That doesn't always take place. So over there we had three letters and we're arranging them into a three-letter quote-unquote word. What could also happen is we are eliminating some of those. Okay? And so for this one, what we're looking at is how many different ways are there to make a four-song playlist from 10 songs? Okay? I'm going to go to the line method as opposed to writing them all out just to save a little work. And so what we end up with is there's just going to be four slots available to us. Typically, you don't include the same song twice on a playlist, so we're going to do without duplication. And so the first slot could be one of 10 songs. So we have 10 options there. The second spot, we've already chosen one song, so we're left with nine. So we're just going to throw nine in there. The third, we've chosen two songs already, leaving us with eight. And lastly, we have seven. So the number of different four songs playlists from 10 songs is just going to be 10 times nine times eight times seven. We could plug that into your calculator, but I'm not terribly concerned with actual what the numeric value is. Okay. There's another way of doing this using factorials, using these little exclamation points that we talked about a second ago. And what that is is called the permutation formula. And how that basically works is if you have 10 objects, or n objects rather, and you're permuting them, choosing r of them, what you end up with is n factorial over n minus r factorial. Going to this problem, we'll do the same exact problem. What we're looking at then is, let's grab a different color, 10 permute 4. Okay, we're choosing out of these 10 songs, we're taking four of them, which is going to work out to be 10 factorial divided by 10 minus 4 factorial or 6 factorial. If we were to write this out, what we would end up with is this is 10 times 9 times 8, so on and so forth. And the bottom is 6 times 5 times 4, so on and so forth. What's going to end up happening is the 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1 are going to cancel from the top and the bottom, just leaving us with the 10 times 9 times 8 times 7. Okay? So really, we didn't even have to write out all these little slots. We could just say, okay, 10 permute 4, we're done. Okay? So that's a general introduction to permutations. Permutations is the number of ways that you can take a set of things and rearrange them in a different way.